Jorinda and Jorindel. There was once an old castle in the middle of a deep wood, and in it an old woman, who was a witch, dwelt all by herself. In the daytime she changed herself into a cat or a screech owl, but in the evening she took her proper shape again, as a human being. She lured wild beasts and birds to her, and then she killed and boiled and roasted them. If anyone came within one hundred steps of the castle, he must needs stand still, and then he could not stir from the place until she bade him free. But whenever a young maid came within this circle, the woman changed her into a bird and shut her up in a wicker work cage and carried the cage into a room in the castle. She had about 7,000 cages of rare birds in the castle. Now there was once a maiden who was named Jorinda, who was fairer than all the other girls. She and a handsome youth named Jorindel had promised to marry each other, and their greatest happiness was in being together. One day, in order that they might be able to talk together in quiet, they went for a walk in the forest. Take care, said Jorindel, that you do not go too near to the castle. It was at the end of a beautiful day. The sun shot its beams between the trunks of the trees, and the turtle doves sang mournfully upon the beech trees. Jorinda wept now and then. She did not know why. The sun was low in the west, and sadness came over her. Jorindel was sorrowful too. They were as sad as if they were about to die. Then they looked around them and were quite at a loss, for they did not know by which way they should go home. The sun was still half above the mountain, but the other half was set. Jorindel looked through the bushes and saw they were close by the old castle. He was filled with deadly fear. Jorinda was singing. My little bird with a necklace red, sing sorrow, sorrow, sorrow. He sings that the dove must soon be dead, sing sorrow, sorrow, juk, juk, juk. Jorindel looked for Jorinda. She was changed into a nightingale and sang juk, juk, juk. A screech owl with glowing eyes flew three times around her and three times cried, to wit, to woo, to wit, to woo, to wit, to woo. Jorindel could not move. He stood there like a stone, could neither weep nor speak nor move hand or foot. The sun had now set. The owl flew into the thicket, and directly afterwards there came out of it a crooked old woman, yellow and lean, with large red eyes and a hooked nose, the point of which reached to her chin. She muttered to herself, caught the nightingale, and took it away in her hand. Jorindel could neither speak nor move from the spot. The nightingale was gone. At last the woman came back and said in a hollow voice, "'Greet you, Zachiel. If the moon shines on the cage, Zachiel, let him loose at once.' Then Jorindel was freed. He fell on his knees before the woman and begged that she would give him back his Jorinda. But she said that he should never have her again and went away. He called, he wept, but all in vain. Ah, what is to become of me? Jorindel went away and at last came to a strange village. There he kept sheep for a long time. He often walked round and round the castle, but not too near to it. At last he dreamt one night that he found a blood-red flower and in the middle of which was a beautiful large pearl. He dreamt again that he picked the flower and went with it to the castle, that everything he touched with the flower was freed from enchantment. He also dreamt that, by means of it, he set his Jorinda free. In the morning, when he awoke, he began to seek over hill and dale for the flower he had seen in his dream. Seven days he sought for it, and then, early in the morning, he found the blood-red flower. In the middle of it, there was a large dewdrop, as big as the finest pearl. Day and night he went on his way with this flower to the castle. When he was within a hundred steps of it, he was not held fast, but walked on to the door. Jorindel was full of joy. He touched the door with a flower, and it sprang open. He walked in through the courtyard and listened for the sound of the birds. At last he heard it. He went on and found the room from whence it came, and there the witch was feeding the birds in the seven thousand cages. When she saw Jorindel, she was angry, very angry, and scolded, but she could not come within two steps of him. He did not take any notice of her, but went and looked to the cages with the birds. But there were many hundred nightingales. How was he to find his Jorinda again? Just then, he saw the old woman quietly take away a cage with a bird in it and go towards the door. Swiftly, he sprang towards her and touched her and the cage with a flower. The woman could no longer bewitch anyone, and Jorinda was standing there, clasping him round the neck, and she was as beautiful as ever.